do, what he do, what he do, what he do, what he do. What's up, Bond Gang? I am back with another video. You know what's going on. You know what's about to go down because you can see it by the title. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you subscribe to my channel now because I promise you I'm going to be on your baby daddy's page. Like, I can guarantee you I'm probably going to be on your baby. Or, you know, because I might be on your baby mama page too. You know what I'm saying? So, for all my guys who, you know, think they don't want to subscribe, your baby mama is definitely gonna be posting me on her page so please just subscribe and see me now so today video we are going to talk about how i got started getting paid on instagram i mean like yeah yeah that happened so as you guys can see by the title ragstock was the first company who paid me and like who got my like Instagram started and everything. Because if y'all hear any noise in the background, just make sure y'all know that I try to make my video videos professional as possible. I had just passed away. Fashion was just gonna have to be my outlet because I didn't know how to talk about my emotions, deal with my emotions at the time, express them and grieve. It was like so crazy how dark I went through this spot, but everybody thought I, nothing had happened. Everybody thought I was still doing good and you know, thought everything was going good in my life, but really everything was just still, always been on Instagram. Um, I've been on Instagram since like I was, 15, I want to say 15. Um, yeah, my freshman year of high school was when like um, Instagram really started popping off for me. Like I was, I had just got it started. So of course, you know, I didn't have as many followers. I had probably like maybe 200 and some followers at the time on Instagram, but I was posting on there and I didn't, I didn't think that it was going to become so like what it was. And I was just posting, I was getting like maybe two likes, 10 likes, 11 likes, 26 likes and everything. So, and you know, as time progressed it, as time progressed, let me correct myself, cause I know how y'all like the tough. At that state, I wasn't taking it serious before everything happened. So like this was before 2019 and all that, like, this is just like the breakthrough. So I didn't know how I was gonna make, like I didn't know how I was gonna get my content up and everything or like get my followers up or anything. So you know how they had an explore page. So I would look at my explore page, I would be seeing people, I would be seeing people dress all the time. And I'm like, damn, like I want to do this. Like I want to be on the explore page. I want to make sure like my name gets out there. So I was taking pictures all the time. I was posting them, still wasn't, you know, progressing. Um, I really was just like, damn, how am I going to do this? Yeah. If I'm looking both ways, I just want y'all to know it's because I'm really looking at myself, but then I'm also trying to look at the camera. As I kept doing it, I reached it like 2000 followers and I was like, whoa, it's that time. It's about that time. It's really about that time. <laughs> and um, I was just happy. Like, I was happy for just the 2000 and I had. I'm like, dang, like, your boy got 2000. Like, what's going on? Like, it's, it was it was exciting to just have that many, you know, followers. It really was. 4,000 had finally led to 6,000. And 6,000 had finally led to 7,000. Um... And so when this happened, I knew that I would have to just start taking stuff a little bit more serious. And coming from my freshman year of being 15 years old to like 18, um, I didn't realize how much growth I could have at just that age period in general. My grandma had died, everything was going on and I was doing almost a bit of everything. I was talking to um, I was talking to this guy from Black Ink Crew. Um, it was the new season. It was Chicago season, 
I'm not gonna say any names, but I was talking to him at the time. And when I wore that, I was like, well, we were going to be on camera. We were going to be on camera and when he invited me to the event and everything at the club so we were going to be on camera and i'm just like i wanted to look artsy i wanted to look fire and i wanted to look different but i still wanted it to pop and so pretty much at the time when you're on instagram and everything you know you tag the brands you know you tag where you got it from and everything you know every time i tag the brand nothing i mean i didn't get any reactions from like tagging them or anything but this particular company and brand they reached out to me like three days later i got a dm and i was like oh my god i was just happy they wanted to pay me just to post me they paid me to post my picture of their product that I had on, on their page. So I'm not gonna say how much they pay me, but if I was to get paid that every day, your boy would have money in the bank. I'ma just say that. So I really applaud a lot of influencers on here because honestly, with what, I'm not gonna say the amount, but just know that for big influencers that are, they do get paid money to post. So got paid, they reposted the picture. Thank you, Rag Sock. I really appreciate that opportunity. Don't be afraid to hit your boy up for more opportunities. Don't be afraid to reach back out. <laughs> Once that happened, I noticed how everything started to change for me. So they started seeing my numbers and everything how many likes i was getting so they was giving me like five dollars credits to promote my pictures and stuff like that and ten dollars credit sometimes to promote my picture depending on how i was doing and i was really really excited with the progress with the progression of what my instagram was doing for me um photographers reaching out to me and everything and honestly like i said i am so grateful for that because it really pushed me to really like pushed me to really mold myself and to really take what I do serious and that I really can get paid for what I do and that it is really serious to add value to companies or add value to photographers or add value to models and everything. So it's it was always a good thing to have that and for me to know why I was doing what I was doing. Cause at first, you know, growing up and getting older and everything and you didn't think that you would get paid off of that. So you're looking for jobs. You're trying to maintain the life that you want and everything. And it just, it's amazing, honestly. So I'm always hoping for new opportunities like that. And I did get opportunities after that, which is why I kept trying to grow my Instagram. I had reached 8,000 followers. Ah, oh, close, close 10K. Close, definitely close 10K. And then boom. This year, I lost my Instagram in like April. And it really took a toll on me because I'm so used to having the followers that I'm used to having. And not only that, but so many people saw me on my other page, so many big people. So when I lost that, it kind of just, it did a number on me, but I am back in action. And I am doing really, really good. And honestly, I will say that me starting over now is a more so setting the tone for the followers that I want and the followers that I need. So I appreciate you guys for always supporting me. I definitely want to say that. And please, if you are looking to get paid from Instagram or looking, push content. Know what the people want to see. Know what, know what brands are looking at brands and know what you're wearing at first. Know what you're wearing know how to style it, know if it's fitting the aesthetic of the brand. It, it's so much that come with it, but you can do it if you really want to. Be consistent at content. Do not stop. Do not stop. I, like I said, I've been doing this since I was a freshman, so please do not stop making content. So I just want to throw that out there for anybody who is, you know, trying to become an influencer or just trying to, you know, get paid for what they do, you know, taking pictures and everything. Um, like I said, stay consistent with content. For sure for sure know what content you want to push as well and you should always be growing at your content your content content should never stay the same which is probably why y'all see me rearrange my instagram so many times is because it should never stay the same you want to 
you want to when people are looking at your page you want to bring something to the table so and you want them to be insightful of what you're posting and everything so yeah hopefully this video was helpful for you guys i mean i really appreciate y'all so much i hope y'all watch this video like this video and take something from it and continue to just keep living life be at peace manifest meditate you know make sure you're protecting your energy at all times i will see you guys in the next video you guys are my bond gang so bond gang i am out i am out for the night and i hope you enjoy your night sleep tight and don't let slip by you <laughs> see y'all in the next video peace out